Hello Zany friends, I am Lainey. And I am Marshall. And today we have for you a Once Upon a Book Club box. So in our quest to find a really amazing subscription box, we have uh, found upon this one. Um, so this is the Once Upon a Book Club box. Um, I had heard a lot of really good things about this and the concept of it seemed really interesting to me. Basically how it works is there are two different types you can get. You can get the young adult box or you can get the adult box. And I got the young adult box just because those are the types of books I tend to read more of easily and fast. Um, I will read adult books for sure. I like mysteries and suspense and thriller ones and um, you know the, the rom-com books. But I read young adult books very quickly. You know I review books on my uh, Goodreads if you want to know my profile, my Goodreads profile is down below. Um, and I do a lot of like advanced reading for different publishers as well. So I read a lot. So uh, I was like, hey, this might be right up my alley, you know, so I want to try it for at least one month. I am getting this next month also because I didn't want to uh, unsubscribe until I found out whether I wanted to get, I liked the first one and I didn't have time by the time they mm, gotcha. resubscribed me. So we're getting this for at least two months, no big deal. Um, so basically what this type of box is, is they give you a book and then they give you uh, about four different packages inside the box that you open when you're at that page of the book. Oh, that's cool. So it's like, more like you like have this whole experience about it. So the box itself, uh, this is the August box. Obviously we're in the month of August. I got it a little bit later. So there is a, uh, a whole group that you can join as well to discuss what you've got in it. Uh, the book that we ended up getting, of course it's right in the bottom. We'll show you this first. This is The Turn of the Key by Ruth Ware. She wrote The Woman in Cabin 10. And uh, I had not read that, however, it was on my to be read list, but I just ended up not having time. So we ended up getting the turn of the key. So I actually really like, it's a hardbound book, yeah. number one, which is great because I end up like sending books a lot of times that are like physical copies to other people to read. I just think it's really great to do like swaps with different books because that way you can share your book uh, experiences with them. Is there like a little description or something in there about this book? No? Okay. No. All right, so one of, the, one of the people who reviewed it said, a ghost story for the 21st century, a propulsive gothic thriller with characters that you'll really care about. With this book, Ruth Rare proves she's the true heir to Wilkie Collins, creepy, engrossing, and oh so hard to put down. So I, these are, this kind of book not only is a young adult, but it is also a, you know, suspense mystery thriller right up my alley. This is exactly, exactly what I like. So... There's the book. So inside this box, we have a postcard, and it looks like every box does come with a postcard with some type of quote from the book. So this is kindness is as kindness does, is what it says, and obviously that's a quote from the book. Your job is to find the package with the least amount of page number. So what's the very first package I will be opening? 56. It will be 56, so obviously I'm not going to do it right now. Um, again, if you are interested in seeing me open it as I'm reading the book, please go to my Instagram. Um, I'll go ahead and put it in my stories, and there'll be a highlight called subscription boxes, which you'll be able to see what we get. So this is the box and what it looks like for page 56. So what's the next one? Uh, looks like it's going to be 213. Yeah, and this is kind of a heavy one for 213 feels like it might be a mug or something. It might be. It feels like it might be like that's what the shape feels like. I am super okay with that. Mm -hmm. What's the next one? 304. Now look and at this one. Keys all over it. This one is, yeah, and it's very small. There is a rattle. It might be something like a necklace or that's what it sounds like. Or earrings. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to guess it's a necklace. Mm -hmm. And then the last one page 335 is an envelope mm -hmm. so a lot of times I've noticed that like because you can go back and see the the last boxes that have been uh, opened a lot of times it the last object is like a menu or a letter or something that really pertains to the book or you know or like sometimes the business card that references what you're reading about so I'm just wondering if that's what this is going to be if it's going to be some kind of personalized letter from yeah. 
something in the book. Um, I did want to also show you the bottom of the box. I don't know if this oh. changes every time, but I thought this was really cute. It's a little book with a person on it that's been like, it looks like it's been drawn by children. It's nice and cute. That is cute. All right, so thoughts about this subscription box. Okay, so I love this concept so much that you don't just get, like, you would normally think, oh, we're going to do a book club box. Let's just send you a bunch of books and maybe some tea. Have fun. This one is, we're going to have a book and then stuff to kind of get you into the experience as you mm -hmm. read. And I'm, I'm adoring this concept. I like that they do have the young adult box separate from the adult box. Yeah. I, I love this a lot. This is a great concept. Mm -hmm. I really hope that I'm going to be able to read it. Usually you have until the 17th of the next month to read it before the spoilers start coming out. Mm -hmm. So I have about three weeks to read it. That's hard for me because this is the one drawback that I see about this, which is not a symptom of this subscription box itself. It is just personally to me, it is easier for me to read an ebook than it is for me to read a physical book because the ebooks I can read on my phone when I'm at lunch, you know, whatever, wherever I am, I can read it a lot faster and easier than I can a book. What I'm going to have to do is really discipline myself and say I need to read this many pages a week in order to stay up on the, by the time the 17th rolls around because that's when people start posting their spoilers. Um, if you look in this little pamphlet right here, they're in, in the book club uh, Facebook group, they have uh, different dates of what they're going to discuss. So it, from the 16th to the 20th of September is when they're going to discuss this book with like a different topic each time, which is awesome. And then also you can go on their Instagram, Once Upon a Book Club, and they will open the gifts uh, starting on September 17th on their Instagram. I think it's Instagram stories that they'll do that. It, it's so hard because you really want to open them now. Yeah. Uh, You're just going to have to read really fast to know whether you want to keep right. on going or not. But uh, the concept alone is really smart. What's really interesting too is that you have to go from like page 56 to page 213. It's like the biggest gap in between pages. Before you Which means one them. of two things. Either 56 to 213 is so fast, like you won't be able to put it down. Mm -hmm. Or um, that's just when something interesting is going yeah. on. I usually read uh, around uh, two books a week. That's how fast I can go. I'm kind of a speed reader, and especially when I review books, um, if the book doesn't hold my attention, I tend to skip kind of browse through it a lot more so I can read a lot more. Um, my goal this year was to do uh, one book a week through Goodreads challenges and I'm I've, I'm up, up, to, up to date and I think I'm over by like eight books right now so um, yeah I, I haven't like I haven't read 300 like what is it 52? I haven't read 52 books but I am current on the week I'm supposed to be plus eight so I'm two months ahead of what I'm supposed to be which is Pretty nice. Yeah, pretty good. Um, and that's just because I, I read voraciously a lot um, in my spare time. That's just what I do. Um, yeah, so if you guys are interested in like a book like this, please look down below. Tell me, are there any other book type subscription boxes that you like? Because honestly, I really, I like this one a lot. And I'm going to have to see if, it, if I can actually do this with a physical book. Because if I can, I'm all about it. Um, but yeah. If you also have any interesting subscription boxes that you think we should try out, please put them down below in the comments and let me know. It doesn't have to be books. It doesn't have to be like games. You know, it can be tea. It can be really anything. Well, you know, consider it. Consider well, we'll consider it. it because there are a few boxes out there um, that we are not going to be putting on camera. So true. Nothing adult themed. This is a family friendly station too. Yes. Don't get us demonetized. No. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, stay zany. Bye-bye.